All right. Anyway, it's me again. Um. So, anyway, um. One thing I'm gonna go yeah, on about right now. I'm not gonna ranch or anything, but I'm not gonna really go on and on and on about it. But um, it's about the wiffle ball game that we had on the last day of summer before school started. If you haven't already, go check out, go, go to my channel or search up wiffle ball Wiffle Ball Game 2021 Part 1 and you'll find it from my channel. Make sure to go and find John Deere Man 17 which that is my channel and watch Parts 1, 2, and 3. So there's three parts. Um, again, just um, again to everyone who played that day um, I just want to give a big thanks to everyone who played. Um, everyone from everyone that played was Will Texter, his girlfriend, um, Lewis Texter, Gus Varney, um, Ruby Varney played, our brother Max, Benton Bixby, Jacob Stockdale. Nick Reineke, and then, yeah, there was so many more that played that we, that I can't really tell you how, how many of us were there and that played. Oh, and also Gabe Metz played, so he played, and then the one videotaping the entire game was Maddie. Metz, which is Gabe's, which is Gabe Metz's sister. So she did a great job nah, that day nah, filming uh, the filming the ball game. So thanks, Maddie, to you. So shout out to you, Maddie, nah, for doing the uh, doing the um, videotaping that day. But it was just great. It was bomb. It was it was just it was just beautiful. Beautiful weather that day. Shorts and t-shirt. Um, I think I was in like a sleeveless shirt. And we played wiffle ball all that day. And that was beautiful. But yeah, it was, it was pretty great. So anyway, um, there won't be another video tonight. Considering the fact that I gotta go to my church tonight, and because they're gonna, because it's just for us high schoolers, so, um, so me, Liam, my cousins, and some of the others are gonna be there, and we're gonna have pizza and all that good stuff and play games. So it's gonna be great. I won't have my phone out there, but I'll be bringing my phone along, but I just won't play on it. Or make a video or anything like that. So, anyway, um, yeah. So then, don't forget. Once we get to Grandpa Harvey's, there will be a house tour video, which is going to be sent, which will be out hopefully the same day that it's out. Um. Basically, gonna be a three-parter, not a three, a four-parter. It's gonna be a four-part video. The last part is a little history. So, anyway, yeah, it's there's a lot of stuff that does go on, and you know it's kind of great I mean just the amount of just the amount of engineering that's been put into the video well just the amount of engineering that goes into that house that went into that house over there back then when it was just built 
just a marvelous amount of engineering, but with a bad electrical box. Electrical box is not strong, so it only can take so much. So anyway, expect a four part house tour video on the, the day that we get moved in. Well, not the day that we get moved in, the day after we get moved in and I don't know, basically once we get home from school, it'll, it'll be nice enough. Well, we have to get off the bus. You have to get off the bus here at, in the neighborhood and walk down to my grim, to my dad's mom's place. Wait there until dad or mom comes to get us and then we head back to Grandpa Harvey's. So it's, so it's gonna be a while. I don't know. I may not do videos there, but may do videos after that day you know because it's it's just it's just a, it's just a great thing you know a lot of great stuff such so yeah we just we're just gonna rock and roll with it hopefully get a lot done and then hopefully once once we get started it'll be it shouldn't be too big of a deal and it shouldn't be that big of an issue. So but it shouldn't be that bad. Just gonna figure out a couple of things and then Yeah. But <sighs> so anyway, it's getting darker. Uh, as you can tell, the sun is going down. So it's gonna get harder and harder to see my face, uh, but you guys can see it for for right now. And anyway, yeah. was that huh well anyway we just we just have a lot to do um i'm not for sure on what's all gonna happen tomorrow besides school um i know there's gonna be a video out tomorrow and then, then December, then hopefully December 1st, um, we're moved in. Then we're actually moved in, ready to go. And then it's not that big of a deal. We are going to be just fine. Um, God will take care of us. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> and also, another thing, I'll be doing another house tour, which, which is a house that I know how to get in to. Um, there's been, so this house, this other house that I'm going to do a, I'm gonna be doing a doing is a video of me going into the house up at the Kramer farm. Um I've been in there with my grandpa and my uncle. Um the place is is really wore down. I mean it's really wore out. Um the people who go up near that go there 
usually come the day that we're up at Clear Lake. And then once we come back from Clear Lake, then they go back home. It's just, it's just weird. It's the way things work. But hopefully, I think December 3rd or I think December 3rd. Oh, and by the way, I also still can't hear out this ear, so that's a bad thing. But anyway, the bad thing is, the good thing is, is that I know how to get into the house at the Kramer farm. There's a back entrance to that house where you can go straight, straight down from the basement and then uh, take this. Then there's a stairway that comes from the basement and goes straight into the house. So once I open the basement door up there, everything's going to be good. But yeah, it, it'll be great. But give it a few minutes. But give it time tomorrow on next Saturday. Is all I'm going to tell you. Is to just give it time next Saturday. Because i got to figure out the right time to go up there and do it. Um, I'll probably just, I don't know, make up some excuse saying that I have to go up there and pick up sticks and then I go up there and, and give you guys the full rundown of that house that's up there. But I don't know, I probably won't go in it just because of other purposes and yeah the reason why i say i don't want to go in there because there's a because there's a part of me saying that i the go in there's a part and there's an and the other half of me saying don't go in and i don't know i may or may not go into that house but i just might um there's there's a bad thing that says to me that I can't go in to that house because the bad part of me says to go in, the good side says to stay out. And I probably just might stay out because the ceiling in the house is bad and all that sort of stuff and there's mice, crap everywhere. So, and it also stinks in the house. Um, it stinks a little bit, but you can hardly smell it. So, if you want to, all right. yeah, I highly suggesting not to go to that house because trust me, me going in there alone and by the way, I am scared of stuff. So, like, I'm a big chicken when it comes to being in places alone. Doing stuff alone, I'm scared. Um, and going into that house up there at the Kramer Farm is one of them. I am truly scared to be going in that house alone and by myself. So, because... When you're in the house alone, usually you'd be thinking, well, this isn't so bad for some of you guys that are brave, but some of you guys that are chicken, you guys are probably saying, no, this is not good. Right? We should be getting out of here. And, and rumors in there have, there's been a lot of things that have been said saying that, oh, that you're in the house alone, ghosts might appear and right in front of your very eyes and you might see see paranormal stuff and for me i don't believe in that sort of stuff sometimes i do when i watch sam and colby their channel so if you want to go check out their channel 
Um, I probably won't have it in the link in the in the description down below, but and you know what? It's usually never there. So anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow after I get home from school with another video. See you guys later.